on, Jackie, die! To the beat of KC! Oh! He's more of a Bee Gees guy, I guess. Welcome to Classic Game Room. It's always fun to review headsets that look like this because they make me feel like Wild Bill from G.I. Joe. This is the Sharkoon Ecstatic SP Plus gaming headset for the PS3 and 360 and anything else that uses headphones. Including the G.I. Joe Tomahawk. Assuming the Tomahawk has a headphone jack, which it should, I think most helicopters do, it's the Sharkoon Ecstatic SP Plus. Sharkoon. What is that? Sounds like a shark that knocks over trash cans. An amphibious raccoon? I almost ran over a raccoon last week. Those things are big. They're like small bears with stripy tails. But you can't plug them into a PlayStation 3 or Xbox 360. At least, not easily. This, however, is designed just for that purpose. Multiplayer games where you hear the sound and voices simultaneously through the headset. And then talk to people through the little bendy microphone. These Sharkoons look nice and pack more detail than one might expect from plastic headphones. But these things are pretty sizable and also drop some heavy bass. The SP Plus sounds a lot better than the $20 headphones out there, that's for sure. But you'll plug these in with the analog stereo cables. There's no external mixing amplifier or anything. These are pretty simple and easy to use and sound good for those on a budget looking to step it up past the entry-level plasticky headphones. And uh, we get this smiling guy on the side of the box. I have no idea who that is, but he's a professional gamer, which means he obviously plays games on the Atari 7800 Pro system. Sharkoon gives you instructions on a poster-sized sheet of paper folded up like a roadmap, and like a roadmap, it's impossible to ever fold back together again. Why is it so big? Because it has about 70 different languages, including Klingon and Ewok. You'll use this thing to control your microphone volume or mute it during gameplay, and it works with the PS3 and 360 easily enough using USB and standard analog audio cables. If you don't want to use the microphone or volume control thing, you can also just plug them directly into your iPad, iPhone, Walkman, Discman, Game Boy, speak and spell. Did, did those have head... See, now I'm just making things up. Those didn't have headphone jacks, did they? They were awesome, though. These are padded and look cool, but they cover your entire ears, you know, assuming you have normal ears. And over, over time, they get a little bit warm, but the sound quality is surprisingly good for something that doesn't need external amplification. Here's a look at the adapters, including the 360 adapter. I used them with my PS3, and they're good. Now I'm going to test the Sharkoon headset with the Virtua Fighter arcade machine, but unlike the Neo Geo machine, it doesn't have a headphone jack, so I'm gonna play some KC and the Sunshine Band on my iPod, and uh, just rock out to the beat. I'm Your Boogeyman is such a fresh jam. Annoyingly, I don't have the rights to play KC in the Sunshine Band, so you'll just have to buy it and play it along with Virtua Fighter. That They go together really well. Shake, shake, shake your booty. That's a great jam. Definitely. Alright. Not necessarily shaking your booty that's gonna make you win in Virtua Fighter. It's kicking someone's ass, but shake your booty sounds better. That was stupid. I'm gonna edit that out. Oh! Jeffrey, you suck! Yes! The power of KC and the Sunshine Band and my Sharkoon headset makes me victorious. It sounds great. Come on, Jeffrey. Yeah! Oh! To be fair, Virtua Fighter is not listed on the box as supported equipment like the PC 3S... 3SP and... <laughs> Let's try that again. PC, PS3, and 360. Those... wow. They all kind of rhyme, don't they? The Sharkoon SP. <laughs> Whee! Oh! No, Jeffrey, where's the love? Come on!